voice to entertain you With music and laughter to help you on your way To raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey With songs and sketches and jokes old and new With us about you and Bill Blue So meet the gang cause the boys are here The boys to entertain you B-O-B-O-Y-S Boys to entertain you Oh my God, fathers, what hot day it is. So dusty and dry. <coughs> <laughs> we are all waiting for the monsoons to break, then we can get some rain. Oh, it is so lovely when the rains come here in India. All our plants and flowers begin to bloom, just like your English is spring, when your young lambs are born. Our little creatures are also born. Baby cobras, Baby pythons, <laughs> baby scorpions, and baby spiders. <laughs> oh, it is such delight. And what could be nicer than a glass of pure water from the heavens above, huh? Sirf ek cheez, Ranji, aur wo hai glass of beer. Shit up straight when you are punkering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, it's hot. Oh, it's a dash nuisance. I'm trying to write this letter to my wife, but the sweat keeps dripping off my face and smudging the ink. I shall have to write it all out again now. Oh, I shouldn't bother. Just put P.S. I miss you and she'll think it's tears. <laughs> it's like an oven in this office. Oh. <clears throat> Panka Carew! Not here any more, Good heavens! Sir? Guess what the thermometer's reading? Something light. Agatha Christie? <laughs> <laughs> Some people always have to make silly jokes. Well, that was rather rude, Ashwood. I'm terribly sorry. This, this, this dreadful humidity is making me all nervy and on edge. Well, pull yourself together. My word, sir. Does you know what the thermometer is reading? The decline and fall of the Roman Empire? <laughs> 108 degrees, sir. I learned the monsoon isn't due for another week. Let's hope it doesn't get very much hotter. Always a difficult time here in India, sir. I've seen men go stark raving mad. You hear that, Ashford? You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I've had this report from the MO. The concert party's in a bad way. They're all suffering from prickly heat. That is because they will not take their salt tablets, sir. Well, you better see they do. We'll see to it right away, sir. Yes, sir, Major Sam. Shut up. What's the concert party doing? What's oh, up? They're all very sicky with the pricky heat. <laughs> and they are prostate on their charcoals. <laughs> oh dear, how sad. Never mind. We must see what we can do to relieve their suffering. Go to the MO, get a lot of salt tablets, jolly. Bago, bago! I just had to make it up. Slippy Tangle, you're turning your melt into day. Slippy Tangle. Major, you see, I was, uh, I was asleep, I was delirious. You see. Shut up! <laughs> How dare you lie in bed in the middle of the day? But we're sick! Shut up! Oh, come on! I said that old man moving, sir, moving, sir! Come on, Bombardier! Get that man moving! Move, move, move! Yes, Sergeant Major, come on, move it! Don't drop his luggage, stand it, Bombardier! Bar time! Stand that ice! Stand easy! Stop scratching! <laughs> I can't help it, Sergeant Major. It's just prickly heat. Shut up! <laughs> the water's clearly state the British other ranks will not scratch their prickly heat bumps. <coughs> Leave yourself alone, Bombardier, or I will make you wear boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, lovely boys. This is the oddest time of the year. <laughs> we are not going to give in. We is going to fight it. <laughs> Soldiers, as always, fought the heat, and that is how the British Empire was built, with plenty of guts. Sabek baato ke na bhuli gaye, and plenty of gin and tonic. 
In other hot climates, them foreigners do not know how to fight the heat. Every afternoon, they has what is called a fiesta. They lie around under banana trees, with their hats over their eyes, having a kip. Now, why do we not lie around under banana trees? Can I say them? Because you won't let us. <laughs> We get off our backsides and defy the sun. Come on, let's see you do it. When I say defy the sun, you say, come on, sun, do you a worst. Ready? <laughs> defy the sun. Come on, come sun. On, sun. Come on, <laughs> but that is no good. Because the sun is not afraid of a load of puffs. <laughs> do it like men. Make the sun tremble with fear. Defy it. Again, on this time, shake your fists at it. Defy the sun! Come on, sun, do your worst! Again, defy the sun! Come on, sun, do your worst! I say it. What's going on, Sergeant Major? Oh, I was, uh, I was just telling the men to fight the sun, sir. Oh, good show. Carry on. <laughs> well, the sun isn't an anatomical entity. It's an inanimate object. How can we possibly fight it, Sergeant Major? How can we possibly fight it, Sergeant Major? <laughs> well, let me tell you, Mr. Lardy, I'm going to the British Army can fight anything, intimate or not. <laughs> Stop scratching, stand still! <laughs> well, let the chucky. Now, lovely boys, I is going to make you do something which I cannot rely on you to do on your own, and you all knows what that is, don't you? Must we do it out here on the barrack square, Sergeant Major? <laughs> After all, we're not children. Shut up. Get you a pialas and hold them out. <laughs> <laughs> Fill them up, bearer. I'll take that in a minute They is going to need a lot of Pawnee to take their salt tablets. Now, on the command one, you will open your mouths and stick out your tongues. Watch it then. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what you, not you? <laughs> Where's that salt tablets? Oh, yes, sir. All right, keep your tongue still. <laughs> Beautiful tongue, boy. <laughs> keep your tongue still, Sagan. You have an idle tongue. I will not have idle tongues on parade. <laughs> right. Hands in, mouths closed. <laughs> oh, I know you was crafty enough to hide them little salt tablets in your big mouths till my back is turned and then spit them out. So, you is going to crunch them. <laughs> <laughs> Start crunching. <laughs> crunch, crunch! Uh, no. Drink! <coughs> oh. Oh. Mouths open, hands out, eyes left. <laughs> I see, sir. The men are all sticking their tongues out at the sergeant major. <laughs> I want me to put them on a charge for insubordinate insub uh, thingy. <laughs> Do use your intelligence, Ashford. I don't want them all stamping in here in their heavy boots. It's far too hot. Come away. Pretend you haven't seen them. Crunch! <laughs> Let me go. You crunching! Crunch! Crunch! <laughs> Drink! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Sergeant Major, but when do you take your salt tablets? Let me tell you, Mr. Lardy, I've gone to Graham. I've had more salt tablets than you've had hot dinners. I will show you. Right? I'll show you. Ah, huh? Still sticking their tongues out, Sergeant Major Ashford? No, sir. Oh, good. The Sergeant Major sticking his tongue out of the mirror. <laughs> Actually, that's all right. He's allowed to do it to them. <laughs> and that is the way to take a salt tablet. But Sergeant Major, he didn't crunch it. Aye, and uh, crunching's the hardest bit, eh? Rubbish. I don't reckon anyone could crunch more than three without being sick. <laughs> I'll bet the Sergeant Major could. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
I'd say it was impossible to take more than three salt tablets without being sick, Sergeant Major. Shut up! I never heard so much about to take a few salt tablets all my life! I, I will show you, right? I'll show you. Uh, you, you took two, right? I will take six. Oh, six! Yes. <laughs> and I will crunch them. Oh, Bella, no. you will issue the salt tablets. I just hasn't made it up. Start counting. <laughs> One. One. Two. that just before the monsoons, the British dig deep trenches around their houses. You ruddy foolish person. <laughs> that is to keep the water out. If they did not do that, their houses would be flooded. And we British do not like to get our feet wet. <laughs> the Manchester Cantonment, which as you know, has heaviest monsoons in whole of England, has huge monsoon trench all around us. Not only does this keep the rainwater out, but it also stops the sheep from straying. Because the world does not want to Manchester Sheep Canal. dig it, dig in our mind the whole day through. We dig, 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 because we damn will have to Sergeant Major. Shut up! I want this monsoon trench to deep, deep, deep. How long shall we keep digging, Sergeant Major? Until it is up to your shoulders, lovely boy. How long shall I keep digging, Sergeant Major? Until you is out of sight. <laughs> it really is awfully hot for this kind of work, Sergeant Major. Awfully hot for this kind of work, Sergeant Major. You. Oh, my dear. Sir. Has you been doing what I told you today? What was that, Sergeant Major? Fighting the sun? Not actually fighting it. Not today. Right. We will do some now. Are you ready? Defy the sun! Come, Come on, sun! Do your work! Again! Defy the sun! Come, Come on, sun! sun do your, your work! Let us hear you loud and clear, gonna sun down! Defy the sun! Come on, sun! Do your work! Charlie! <laughs> Charlie! Oh, you saved their lives, Mohammed. All right, fellas, tea break. Get in the shade. Give in to the sun. <laughs> All right, sun, you win. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> Nice hot cup of tea. Oh, thanks, Vanji. Oh. Are you all right, Lofty? <laughs> I think it's cruel the way the Sergeant Major keeps taking the mickey out of him. Well, I've had enough of it. He's always making remarks about my stature. 
I can't help being small. I tell you, one of these days he'll drive me too far. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I'm had enough, I tell you. I'm had enough. I can't stand it any longer. I can't stand it. <laughs> Sahab, he has got it. Go, go. The monsoon madness, sir. What's monsoon madness? Oh, sir, it is the sickness that has afflicted British troops ever since they came to India. You see, sir, as the monsoon approaches, it gets hot and hotter, and heat presses on brain. Permit me to tell you one story, sir. Fifty <laughs> <laughs> years ago, my father was bearer to a young officer who was a very bad man, Ubud Karab. All the soldiers hated him, and he was making their lives one hell of a hell. Well, as the monsoon approached, things grew worse and worse. And then one day, one of the soldiers got the madness, and he ran into this naughty officer's basher, and he shot him, sternly dead. <laughs> and isn't there any cure? Yes, sir. When the monsoon has broken, the madness will pass. But until then, Lafty Saab will be... <laughs> Twist. 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 Uh, I mean stick. You said twist. <laughs> you said twist. I said stick. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Are oh, you great, me butch, Harry Haggard? You <laughs> wanted to repeat that. Well, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> You get on my nerve. And you get on my nerve. Hey, listen, fellas, remember what the sergeant major said. We mustn't let this heat get us down. Oh, look, fellas, are we playing cards or what? Go ahead. Well, let's carry on then. Mm. Pick your money up. See, chaps? What's, what's Lofty doing? Don't ask me. I'm getting worried about Lofty. I think we ought to tell the MO. He was making very strange noises in his sleep last night. <laughs> 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 know what you're doing. Don't look round. Just don't look round. <coughs> I reckon he's going to shoot himself. Oh, don't be silly. You haven't got the ammunition. You all right? It's no use. I thought it would get it out of my system, but it hasn't. I still hate him. <laughs> I'm going to strangle him with my bare hands. I'm going to squeeze the life out of him. You couldn't squeeze a lemon. <laughs> I feel as if I've got the strength of ten men. Ten men? Well, ten little men. <laughs> We're your friends. Come over here and play. Leave me alone! Ow! I hate him! I hate him! <laughs> Perhaps we ought to go after him. Oh, don't be silly. How can he possibly kill the sergeant major? He'll soon calm down. Come, let's play cards. Right. Gloria? Yes? I'm a bit worried. Well, we're all worried about Lofty, aren't we? Not Lofty, it's me. Hey? You know in the desert song scene where I come on and say, Water, water, for God's sake, give me water? Yes. I think it should be, Water, water, for God's sake, give me water. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... Uh... Look, fellas, he's back. Don't look round. Are you, uh, all right, Lofty? I feel fine, thanks. Good. Well, what's that you got there? Tin of petrol. Oh. <laughs> nice. Anybody got a match? Uh, there you are, sir. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you. On the other hand, I could say, water, water, for God's sake, give me water. <laughs> Petrol. Matches. Oh. Hey, let's go! Oh. You've got to do something. Aye, pet. Oh, you can't even let things go on like this. Just the minute I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but he's such a little man. How can he possibly kill the sergeant major? Well, he jolly nearly succeeded last night with that petrol. Look, he hasn't got any ammunition, so he can't shoot him, right? He can't get near enough to stab him with a knife, right? And he hasn't got any poison. <laughs> so how else can he kill him? <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
The monsoon will break in a few days, and then Lofty will be all right. In the meantime, we just got to watch him day and night. Lindy, Lindy, huh? bad news. Lot crap. Oh, 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 fools. <laughs> How dare you come bursting in here when we are having important conference, huh? Tell them, Ramzan. Ha, sir, you have to go to the ground. Oh, sir, he said that Lofty Saab is digging a big pit. Blimey, he's going to bury the sergeant major. Hey, sir, he's got a big pit. He's got a big pit. He's got a big pit. जमीन में गाड़ी हुई है और जो भी उसके ऊपर गिरेगा नॉट फॉर सेक मी ओ माय डार्लिंग Sagan under close arrest, sir, and that is the old story. Why did you all throw yourselves in front of the Sergeant Major, Bombardier? Well, you see, sir, we were trying to protect Mr. Williams, sir, and we weren't quite sure what Gunner Sagan might do to him. In the prisoner's defense, sir, I think I can say that he is a weak, ineffectual character. <laughs> under normal circumstances, would not say boo to a goose. It is my opinion that the sun has disarranged him, and he's a victim of what is known amongst British troops here in India as monsoon madness. <laughs> I understand your concerns, I admit, but this is a very serious charge. Insulting behavior and threatening physical violence. We've no proof that Gunnar Sagdun is suffering from uh, monsoon madness. I must say, he looks perfectly sane to me. What have you got to say for yourself, Sagdun? Sons of France, surround us, break the chains of us, Men to hell with burgundy! <laughs> I see. <laughs> Detain in camp hospital for medical report. That is all, dismiss. Bring the ass on the tank, big man! Remember, Parky, the show must go on. Water, water, for God's sake, give me water. Built up. Well, lovely boy, you'll bring gas. I will be watching. Five pair of shoulders, show them off on stage. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? Water, water, for God's sake, give me water. Look, Nosha, just say the words. <laughs> 
Tom, Tom, yes. Give me bad news. Lofty Sarver has escaped from the hospital. Hey, Bell, do you think he'll come here? No, I don't know. I, I can't think about that now. I've got a show. Pug, he ran. He ran to huh? He forgot to put the mountain on. Put the oh, mountain on. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah, oh. Come in, And now we say farewell to Sir Fleur and hello to the desert song. The scene takes place in a rift stronghold in the mountains of Morocco. Take it away, Professor. <laughs> Parkins is a pet on Gunner Sugden. Oh, really are getting most awfully ratty, aren't you? The sooner or the month soon breaks the better. Give me that night, dear boy, and let my arms see yours. I don't remember this bit, Ashley. Who knows that? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Look, if you're going to behave like this all night, I should go and stand somewhere else. Night, dear boy, and That's my boy. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Where am I? Shut up! What are you doing here? I don't know. I feel funny. I feel like a great weight has been taken off me. Here, why is Parky singing my song? Shut up! Be-boy, no desert flower, be-boy. I cannot be yours, cos I have another lover. See what I have done to your lover? I've had him pegged out in the desert for three days now. Bring him in here. <laughs> here he is! Yeah! Oh, master! Water, 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 for God's sake, give me water. Louder, they're coming in louder! Water, water, for God's sake, give me water. <laughs> Listen to that rain, Ashford. Put drop the shares and outside, we'd all be suit. Water, water, for God's sake, give me water! <laughs> There's an old Hindu proverb which say that when the monsoon breaks and the rain comes pouring down, those who practice yoga by standing on their heads are in great danger. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, the wise man would always wear a bathing cap. <laughs> so that when he's standing on his head in puddles, he will not get water on the brain. <laughs> Boys to entertain you! 